In this video, I will show you how to download and install SQL Developer. So let's type SQL Developer. Now let's go to this first link. Now here, let's click on this SQL Developer button. Now here, let's scroll down and I will download the SQL Developer for Windows, which includes the GDK. So let's click on this link. And here, of course, we need to accept the license. Now let's click on the download button. In this window, we need to log in. So if you don't have an account, you can create an account for free. But in my case, I have already an account, so I will use it to log in. And now I can save this zip file on my computer. But in my case, I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download and I will use the zip file that I have downloaded, which is this one. So let's extract it. And I will extract it on the folder of the user of this computer. So I will remove all of this part from the path. Then let's click on OK. Now let's go to the location where I extracted the zip file. So I extracted it on the folder of the user of this computer into a folder called SQL Developer. So let's open this folder and here let's find the executable file. So I will just create a shortcut of this executable file on the desktop so I can start SQL Developer easily the next time. Now I can close this folder and I can use this shortcut. So let's start SQL Developer. In this window, I have just to click No. Now in this window, I will just create a new connection with the pluggable database. So I will click on this button. And here I will just provide the name of this connection. So let's call it ConPDB. So here I will connect to the PDB, which allows me to create new users and a new schema. So here I have to provide the username so I can connect using the system account and using the password that I defined during the installation of the Oracle database. Now let's connect to this host name at this default port number and as I said I will connect to the PDB so I have to select service name and to provide the name of the PDB which is XEPDB1. So this is the default PDB that has been created during the installation of the Oracle database. Now let's click on test to test this connection. And as you can see, the connection is successful. So let's connect. Now this connection has been created. So if I expand it and if I scroll down, I can find here other users. So this node contains the available users and their schema. So here we can find this user that I created using SQL Plus. Now we can create a new user using this window. So I will just type the following statement. So this statement allows me to create this user called Webshop, which has this password. So when I create this new user, a new schema will be created for this user. So let's click on this button to execute this statement and the new user has been created. Now let's remove this statement and let's add the privileges to this new user using the following statement. Now let's execute this statement always using this button. And now the privileges has been attributed to our user. Now we should find this user into this list. So let's scroll down. But here we cannot find it. So we have just to refresh this list. So we have just to scroll up and here we have to make a right click, then refresh. Now, if we scroll down, we can find our user just here. So if we expand this node, we can see the list of tables, but for the moment, our user does not have any table. So let's create a new connection to connect as this new user. So let's close this node and also let's close this node and we can also close this page
and let's create the new connection so here I will call it con webshop so let's provide the username which is webshop and let's provide the password which is password also we will connect at this host name and this default port number but we will connect to the PDB so we have to select service name and here XE PDB1 now let's test this connection and the connection is successful now let's connect so this new connection has been created and as I said we don't have any table for the moment so let's create a new table so to create a new table we have two options we can either write the statement here and run it so let's do this so here I will create a new table called clients with these columns so I will just click on this button to create the table and as you can see the table has been created so we can find it here but it is not listed so we have just to refresh this node so let's click on a refresh and now as you can see this table is now available here now to add a new row into this table we can always use the first method and we can write a statement just here so let's write the following statement so this statement allows me to add a new row into this table clients so let's run it now the row has been inserted so we can just click on this table to see its data and now let's click on data now as you can see this is the line that I inserted now the second method to add a new table is just to make a right click on this node and to click on new table now in this window I have to provide the table name so let's call it messages and let's add the columns so for the first column I want to call it ID it will be a number and it should be a primary key now to make this ID auto incremental I have just to click on advanced and then I have to click on identity column and here for the type I have to select column sequence now let's create a new column so let's click on this button and for this column I will just call it message now for the data type let's accept varchar2 and for the size let's select the following value now let's create a new column so let's click on this button and for this column I will just call it username so it is a varchar and for the size I will just modify it and it should not be null also I will add another column it's called email so it is a varchar2 and for the size I will increase the size and of course it should not be null now let's click on the OK button and the table has been created so to add a new row into this table we can go to data and we can click on this button insert row so I will not modify the ID because it is auto incremental but I will modify the message so let's type hello oracle database also I will modify the username so let's type boost my tool and I will modify the email so let's type any email it is also possible to click on this button to show a window that allows us to write the text so I will complete the value of the email address now let's click on OK now to add this row we have just to click on this button it is commit changes so let's click on it and the row has been inserted successfully as we can see now let's click on data to see the available rows and this is the row that I have added now to close the connection we can go back to this list and I can make a right click on this node and I can click on disconnect and now the connection is closed finally thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel